Hi guys, so this is Algebra 1 Lesson 12, and this lesson is about symbols of inclusion. So symbols of inclusion are things like parentheses, where you're going to do the stuff inside the parentheses first. Um, and the easiest way to explain this is just to do some examples. So we're going to simplify within parentheses first. Within your parentheses. first before you do any add, subtract, multiply, divide, any of that. Alright, so example 12.1 and I'm on page 55 of your textbook. 12.1 says 4 times 3 plus 2 minus 5 times 6 minus 3. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is what's inside the parentheses. So first I'm going to do 3 plus 2. So 4 times, what's 3 plus 2? 5. Minus 5 times, now I'm going to do 6 minus 3, which would be 3. Now I have to do what we did in the last lesson, multiply first, then add or subtract. So 4 times 5 is 20, and then 5 times 3 is 15, and that's negative 5 times positive 3, so it would be negative 15. So this breaks down to 20 minus 15 is 5. Okay, so that's just an extra step on top of what we learned in the last lesson. Alright, 12.2 is negative 3 times 2 minus 3 plus 5 minus 6 times 4 plus 2 minus 3. Okay, so we're going to work the stuff inside the parentheses first. We're going to leave it in parentheses because some of those mean multiply. And then we're going to multiply, and then we're going to add or subtract. So inside of our parentheses there, that's 2 minus 3 plus 5. 2 minus 3 would be negative 1. Negative 1 plus 5 would be 4. Or you could say 2 and 5 is 7. Minus 3 is 4. So right here we have negative 3 times 4 minus 6 times whatever's in this parentheses, 4 plus 2 would be 6 minus 3. Okay, next step, we're going to go through and do all of our multiplication first. So here and here. 3 times 4 is 12, and it's a negative times a positive, so negative 12. 6 times 6 is 36, negative times a positive, so negative 36. And then this negative 3 isn't being multiplied by anybody, so we can just bring him down. All right, these are all negative, so we can just add them up, and we're going to have a negative answer. I owe $12 and $36 and three more dollars. So I'm in a, in a, a debt hole here. <laughs> that would be 48, 49, 50, 51, negative 51. I owe negative 51. All right. Uh, 12.3, same thing, but this one is a little more complicated because it's longer. Okay, so this one has negative 2 times negative 3 minus 3 times negative 2 minus 4 minus negative 3 minus 2 plus 3 times 4 minus 2. Now I know that this can look really confusing. We have to be careful about where we're adding and subtracting and where we're multiplying. So if we look at this carefully, we can see there's no sign in between those numbers. There's no sign there. And there's no sign there. So there's going to be three multiplications in this. Okay? Alright, so we want to work what's inside our parentheses first. So we're just going to bring this one down, negative 2. And then we got negative 3 and negative 3. If I owe $3 and I borrow 3 more, now I'm going to owe 6. But i got to keep this in parentheses. Okay? Keep your parentheses until you're done with the multiplication step. Okay, now we're going to add our parentheses back in. Negative 2 and negative 4, that is also negative 6. Okay, now I have this minus sign and my parentheses again. Negative 3, whoops, that was this one, that negative 6. 
negative 3 and negative 2 would be negative 5. So I owe $3. I spend two, two more dollars. Now I owe $5. All right, plus 3 parentheses. Two, 4 minus 2, which would just be 2. Okay, so now I've simplified inside all of my parentheses, and I have the same problem down there, just inside the parentheses has been simplified. Now I'm going to go through with that multiplication and see where I put those arrows. That's where we're going to multiply. So it's going to be all three of these, because they're all touching with no signs in between. So that's going to be here and here. I'll make it be two lines if that seems easier there, and then there and there. Okay, so those are that those two arrows. And then here is that arrow, okay? So those are the places where I'm going to multiply. So 2 times 6 is 12, and that would be positive 12. And then 12 times 6 is 72, and that would be negative 72, okay? So see how I multiplied three times right here? One, well, twice. I have three numbers I'm multiplying. I multiplied there, and I multiplied there. All right, now this one, minus negative 5, these two negatives are going to cancel, and I'm going to have plus 5. Okay, there I have to multiply. So 3 times 2 will be 6, and that will be positive 6. Okay, I can put my positives together, so I'll have negative 72 plus 11, which is going to come out to be negative 61. So just be really careful with these on where you're multiplying and where you're adding and subtracting. You want to work everything inside the parentheses first. All right, the next one's a little bit different from those because it's a fraction. So we're going to try it. It says... Five times negative five plus three plus seven times negative five plus nine plus two. And all this is going on top of four minus two plus three plus five. Okay, so what I have to do is work what's inside the parentheses first. So I'm going to make a new fraction line down here. I'm going to work inside the parentheses first. So this first 5, I can go ahead and bring it down and then put my parentheses in. So now I'm doing right here, 3 minus 5, that's going to be negative 2. Okay, then I'm going to put plus 7 in my parentheses. Now I'm doing what's inside of here, 5 minus 9. It's negative 5, positive 9, same thing as 5 minus 9, and that's going to be 4, so positive 4. Okay, and then I have plus 2, so right there. All right, so that's all that. Now I'm going to do that on the bottom. 4 minus 2 would be 2, plus 3, plus 5. Okay, my next step is to multiply. So I need to multiply here and here. You see how those, there's no symbol, no sub plus or minus in between that. It's touching the parentheses, so that means that I have to multiply there. So 5 times negative 2 would be negative 10. 7 times 4 would be 28. And then plus 2. Okay, for the bottom, I have 2 plus 3 plus 5. All we're doing is adding on that one. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 plus 5 is 10. So our bottom's 10. All right, now I'm going to simplify this one down. So if I put my two positives together, I would have 30 minus 10. So 28 plus 2 makes 30 minus 10, which would be 20 over 10. So that means 20 divided by 10, which would be 2. So the answer to that one is 2. All right, go ahead and pause the video so that you can do the practice problems, and then I'll come back and work them for you. Okay, so everybody pause the video, do the practice problems, and we'll see if you get them right.
Okay, so hopefully you paused the video and worked all these problems, and now I'm going to work them. So A is negative 3 minus 2, negative 4 minus 1. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is work what's inside the parentheses. And inside this parentheses, I have negative 2 and negative 3. So I owe $3, I borrow 2 more, now I owe 5, negative 5, and I'm going to keep my parentheses on. Now I have negative 4, negative 1. So that means I, I owed $4, I borrow a dollar more, now I owe 5. Okay, this just means 5 times 5, which is 25, and a negative times a negative makes a positive. So the answer to that one is positive 25. Okay, the next one Okay, the next one is B. And it is 6 minus 2 inside parentheses here minus 4 minus 6. Okay, so first I'm going to do what's inside the parentheses. So 6 minus 2, which will be 4, I'm going to leave my parentheses on, minus 4 minus 6, which will be negative 2. Does that make sense to everybody? 4 take away 6 is negative 2. All right, so now I have a negative and a negative together, so that's going to cancel into a positive. Now I can say 4 plus 2. So this one equals 6. All right, next one is C. It's a little longer, negative 5, negative 3, minus 3, plus 2 times 1, whoops, 1, minus 3. Okay. So I'm going to go inside my parentheses first. So this guy, he doesn't have anything to do with it, so I'm just going to bring him right down. Now I have negative 3, negative 3. I owe $3, I borrow 3 more, negative 6. Plus 2, now my parentheses, i got to get rid of this. 1 minus 3, I have a dollar, I want to buy something for $3, I'm going to have to borrow 2. So negative 2. <clears throat> now I'm going to multiply. So the places where I'm going to need to multiply are here and here, because they're touching. So negative 5 times negative 6 would be 30, and that's going to be positive 30 because it's a negative times a negative. Now here, positive 2 times negative 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and this one's going to be a negative 4. So that's going to equal positive 26. Alright, and there's one more. And it is another fraction one, so I'm going to write it down here, that way I'll have more room. Okay, and it's got negative 3 times 10 minus 8 minus 4, nope, minus negative 4, okay, over 4 minus 3 times negative 3 minus 13. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to have to add or subtract inside my parentheses first. So you always do it inside the parentheses first. So we'll go on the top. And this first one, we don't have to, it doesn't have, it's not inside the parentheses, so we're just going to write it down. Eight, 10 minus 8 would be 2. Okay, now we have a minus sign. Actually, we can go ahead and simplify that because we could say these two cancel each other and we get positive 4. Okay, plus 4. So we know we have to multiply here, but we don't multiply there because this is in between the parentheses, this negative or positive right here. 
these parentheses is not touching that. Now, if I just put that straight into parentheses, we would have thought we had to multiply right there. That's why you have to be careful and make sure on your original problem, there is the only place where we're multiplying. On this one, we're going to be multiplying there. Okay? So this bottom is going to be 4, and then we have 3 times 3. Uh, yeah, because there's nothing to do inside the parentheses. So we can go ahead and multiply this one. And let's just let's just write this one down all the way across. So minus 3 times negative 3. That way we can all do all the steps at once. All right, so now we're going to be doing our multiplying. So here, 3 times 2 would be 6, and that would be negative 6. And then plus 4. Here, we're going to multiply right there because it's touching. So 4, 3 times 3 is 9, and that's going to be positive 9, 3 times 3, and then negative 13. Okay, so now we're going to do our add or subtract. So we've got negative 6, positive 4, I owe $6, I pay back 4 of it, I still owe 2. Here we're going to put 9 and 4 together would be 13, minus 13, well that's going to be 0. So this one comes out as undefined. because negative 2 divided by nothing is meaningless. We can't do 2 divided by 2, or 2 divided by 0. You cannot do division by 0. So if you have a, vis a 0 on the bottom of your fraction, you're going to write that. Okay? All right, so that is it for Lesson 12. Um, your homework is going to be Lesson 12. We have moved fall break to this coming week, so no classes this coming Wednesday. We'll be coming back on the 23rd. So lesson 12 will be your homework. Do it right after you watch the video. Don't wait a long time and forget how to do it, everything and then try to do your homework. Uh, watch the video and then immediately do the homework. That way it's still fresh in your mind. Alright, so I will see you in um, a couple of weeks when we come back to class. And if you have any questions or any problems that you're not sure how to work them out, just send me a message or a text or an email. Um, call me and I can work, a, I can do a little video of working the problem for you and send it to you. Okay? Alright, bye guys. See you soon.